So, um, this is news, news courtesy of RA, which I'm a little bit unsure about why I think about it, but instinctively I don't like it. But let's just read it. It says here, New London Festival Risen announces non-male lineup run by women members at local promote run by women members at local promoter Percolate. The day event will debut in Hackney Wick on September. Sorry, on Saturday, the 9th of April. Um, the article says as follows a new day festival called risen is coming to london on saturday 9th of april um, running from midday through to midnight across multiple venues hackney wick risen will celebrate what the festival team calls the divine feminine the lineup is 100 percent non-male which just imagine if you call that toxic masculinity or the divine masculinity how people would feel bizarre the lineup is 100 percent non-male with slots with uh, for amelia angel delight club fitness hannah holland iona jay ward Kira, Sucro, Raw Silk, Tasha, Elsie, and more. Risen is presented and programmed and marketed by the women team members at the London Promoter Percolate. The event will also offer opportunities for non males in areas of the industry that have historically been male dominated, such as sound engineering, lighting, and venue operations. The aim for the entire festival staff to be non male. <sighs> even the security, they want even security members to be non male, or is that going to be male security members? Like, this is such a bizarre thing to do, man. I really don't understand this. But anyway, continue. This is a quote. Risen is a festival run by women to shine light on the up-and-coming talent who works so tirelessly across the music industry. So percolates Kitty Bartlett. Uh, oh, I know Kitty. Is she part of it? Okay, that's interesting. Um, be that DJs, event managers, graphic designers, lighting techs, and so on. It's time for a new energy. Here's the full lineup. Of course, there you got the full lineup of people playing. Sign up for pre-sale tickets, blah, blah, blah. All right. Off the bat, I don't like it because I think... If you want to change, because again, I've been very critical of the fact that these lineups are all the same. It's the same old people playing, male or female, right? Let's just keep that 100% correct, especially when you look at some of the more commercial mainstream festivals. It's the same 10 female DJs that get picked rotation. They just kind of rotate them around in different sort of places or different sort of locations, depending on what their schedule is saying. But it's not as if the issue is just a disproportionate amount of people from a particular gender are being represented it's the fact that these booking agencies number one don't uncover or sign on new fresh talent that will basically maybe um shake things up a little bit it's the same sort of archetypes that get signed and basically presented again and again and again some of them manufactured some of them organic but regardless it's the same old people coming through just replacing the older heads that are already there and again like i said the female members that are there too it's not like they are going out of their way to bring in new blood to basically take over from them they're also holding space and also basically playing the same festivals again and again every single year um you could basically you know you've seen one nina kravitz set unfortunately again i love the good woman um i've seen her here at the woman store assembly hall and it was really good but you see one nina kravitz set you've seen them all you've seen one amelia elen set you've seen them all Charlotte the witt same thing same thing goes for um what's her name what's the russian lady's name that i messaged on instagram oh i forgot but you know who i'm talking about right there's a few of them there's a whole there's like 10 of them who are basically prominent that people seem to like let me see what that, what's that lady's name i forgot her name but there's a lot of them that kind of all do the similar sort of thing which again i think is more so an issue with the industry at large and less so about men specifically but again it's maybe an refreshing thing to do overall yes it nastier it's the same thing you heard one nasty say you've heard them all it's all the same sort of stuff what i think needs to happen in my own opinion is that there needs to be more variety in general in the lineups it doesn't necessarily matter your gender just more variety now don't get me wrong for nights i put on in the past i've always said before I was, I wouldn't say a four leader, but I was one of the few people in the scene that I was coming up when I was putting them on parties that I basically would book female DJs that couldn't DJ just because they were cool looking, right? Just Or just to give them a shot or just to basically mix things up a little bit. I just let them play. And then over time, they got good um, and they started to improve and they started to actually enjoy it. And it got to a point where they were basically regular kind of DJs that I basically have on rotation maybe every other month or so. But it was always a, a refreshing thing to have on the lineup because sonically you could be standing at the bar. I've always said this and you could definitely hear a difference in terms of the tonality, the songs chosen, the energy when it's a female playing behind the decks. It's just it's a bit different, especially when you're used to going out and only hearing male DJs. So it's important to have some representation. But I think the industry at large has an issue with just having the same people playing regardless of gender it's not about gender it honestly is i don't think so especially in london most of the bigger clubs don't book people based on gender they book them based on ticket sales and if you're male or female it doesn't matter you're just going to keep getting bookings even if you're terrible 
you're just going to keep getting pockets because you can sell tickets hard tickets and that's the only thing those guys look at i remember hearing one debate or like panel discussion with a guy from fabric who was this is before the pandemic also right i think now things have changed obviously because they've got no option um because of i guess the you know the visa regulations and brexit and stuff has affected people's ability to basically fly in the likes of ricardo lobos or marco corolla and to just fill out a venue so now they have to rely on the up-and-coming talent which is why a lot of these clubs are starting up residency programs which they didn't care about before resident dj programs are completely dead in the water because they just wanted the main person to to play they wouldn't even put your name on the line up sometimes if you were a supporting or warm-up dj and it'll just have you playing the graveyard shift and then the perfect the main person comes on and you just get told to skedazzle here's your drink tokens knock yourself out that would be it now that's an issue it doesn't matter if that's a woman or a female a woman or male that person needs to get the same amount of light i think so as the main headliner that's flying over from flipping chile or whatnot let's have everybody given an opportunity to kind of shine to get a new audience to get better but they don't do that and i think personally responding to the same old tired lineups with an all-female lineup just feels like you're repeating the same mistakes that the old kind of regime did back in the day that's the way it feels like it just feels like repeating the same thing because imagine if this becomes a really popular festival and it becomes really well known and everyone this, this becomes a star and they start to actually go out and sell out different locations that aren't just this festival then what are you then going to get new blood to fill in those old spots or are you just going to keep those same people because they sell tickets that's the issue at hand and that's exactly what happened with places like the you know those ades and all these sort of kind of events and whatnot um I can't figure the other one as well, the massive one. But there's loads of all those mainstream events that basically done the same thing. They started with a core group of DJs who were very popular, who they kind of guided through their career or they kind of, you know, worked alongside as they were kind of ascending in their career. And then because they could be more popular, they just sold the tickets, they just stuck with them. And they didn't use that opportunity of that attention to kind of bring more people through, which is always a missed opportunity. So I think this essentially doesn't necessarily solve what's going on because I think the same 10 djs i get picked especially the female ones it's not like they're kind of reaching back and bringing girls through i don't see them doing it maybe nina kravis has done it a few times maybe nastia has done it maybe a couple of times she's got some youtube thing that she does where she like yeah i think she does some who, who was on it someone was on it that i know but she done something right where she helped to bring up some girls or whatnot but for the most part they don't do jack shit to help someone come up like i can't remember you know i like the black madonna but who has she brought through that's been a new dj that somebody's been able to get you know who she's kind of mentored and said yeah this is a new person that should be you know also working in conjunction with me or alongside me it doesn't necessarily happen so that is a, is a big issue and again it's not their responsibility no one's no one should be forcing peggy you to bring people through that's not your responsibility you're an artist go and perform but i think the problems that exist are far-reaching and an issue with the industry at large the whole thing about wanting to have female like sound technicians and tech it's just yeah i guess it's a good initiative you can try that but i would imagine the reason why there aren't a lot of women in that industry isn't because of sexism i'd imagine because maybe they're just not interested in those kind of roles so if anything maybe try and get more women interested in roles that they want to do would be a better way to go about things than trying to force something that isn't necessarily that isn't something they're really demanding so something they're really kind of asking for hey i want to be a sound engineer hey this um lighting industry is really da -da -da -da, dominated by I, I don't know maybe i'm maybe I'm, I'm too far away from it but i wouldn't imagine that's an issue um i'd imagine again the issue is again is that these promoters that are putting on these events are lazy and they're not willing to maybe try out new venue operators new sound engineering teams or maybe the teams that are, are basically grandfathered in and tied into the venues and you can't easily go out and hire a, an external team to come in and do your flipping lighting and stuff or whatever i don't know maybe something to do with that but that's a weird one and again how far does that stretch does that go to the security does that go to the bar staff does that go to like, it's just just a weird it's just a weird thing to do like it doesn't necessarily and i've never gone to a festival and thought oh there's not enough girls working here that's not the first thing i think of i think it's the festival good yeah or no? and if it is everything else that they're doing in terms of what they want in terms of reputation present sorry what they want in terms of um representation comes second it's not necessarily a thing that you worry about you would imagine so but again the good thing i like about it nowadays is that people are trying at least to offer an alternative to what's out there already so you're seeing all these alternative club nights you're seeing the return of club kids people are just providing alternative to the main to the to the same old kind of boring stuff that exists out there in terms of mainstream dance dance uh, dance music events and whatnot 
but I just don't know if this is constructive. I just don't know if this sends out the right message. I just don't know if this is just repeating the same mistakes that happened prior. Um, but you know, it's worth a try, you know, maybe it works. Maybe people like it. Um, if it's a resounding failure, does that mean that people don't want to hear female DJs in this capacity? I don't think so. I think it's going to take a lot to kind of get this sort of stuff up and running and especially to resonate with a particular crowd. But also Hackney Week is probably the best place to do it because people seem to be very open to new newer sounds and whatnot over that kind of place, especially with the new program that's going on at the Colour Factory. It's clearly a place where people are a bit more open minded. But I think in general, I would much prefer just to be a far reaching sort of, hey, we're trying to shake up the entire kind of festival sort of you know play you no know, the entire festival landscape and we're committed to basically having a lineup that isn't repli that isn't going to be replicable anywhere else because that's the thing that always happens in the summer whenever festival season comes around the lineups are exactly the same right everyone's playing at the same like this is like everyone's booking the same people maybe with a couple of weeks gaps and stuff but it's the same old people it's the same friends it's the same whatever but no, let's just have some fresh talent that's like no one's heard of that isn't associated with anybody, someone you just plucked off the street from flipping SoundCloud or whatnot. That's how it should be. But, you know, again, these are things that you need to start off with little by little baby steps and hopefully maybe across the way it kind of develops into something. But I just think sending out the message that you will have a all female lineup and then a guys go out there and put on an all male lineup, which they've done previously before, but you know it's just like, oh, we're gonna have a festival that's only for dudes, people would really respond negatively to it. So, you know, but hey, you gotta start somewhere in it. You gotta start somewhere. I guess you have to start somewhere.